شرف عوض بالله من شيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولي الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and Abdukul Ajisa of the Ayyifu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah <coughs> Allah gave us this life of ours and Allah's immense rahmah to forgive the wrongdoings and to keep dressing and blessing. I think we talked about the powers of the heart and Habibat al Tai and the secret of folding time for the movement of the body and Tai and Lisan and the reality of the tongue that Allah opens a power in the dhikr in the heart and the tongue for large amounts of zikr or, or speed of the zikr and, and Habibat al Irshad. That Allah to dress the servant from the five openings so that the sixth opening is an opening of the reality of guidance. That for guidance to be common, to be complete and to be of any benefit then those realities have to have opened. Means the reality of magnetism and the connection, connection one with the shaykhs and the heavens and the light, the world of light, malakut and then the connection with the audience that with that jujba and with that magnetism that Allah opens to the guided servants whom He grants them guidance, they must have opened the reality of magnetism so that their magnetic character attracts the heavens and that their connection towards the heavens is of a magnetic bond of ishq and muhabbat. So it's, it's not an effort, it's an effortless connection that once it's opened and established that their ishq and their love calls out into the world of light and malakut and as a result it grabs the attention of these heavenly souls in which their emanation what we call the fires and emanation begin to descend upon that shaykh and that guide and as a result of that emanation coming and the magnetic character that Allah has given to them then becomes the attraction to the audience. That when people are attracted to the shaykh it's because of that juzbah, it's because of that magnetic charge. And it's interesting that they're finding now that these astronauts that they put into space their blood cells and red blood cells are collapsing, right? Something has to do with the gravity, the reality of gravity and the reality of the iron within their body. That what happens to the iron within their body that's causing the breakdown of their red blood cells and causing severe anemia. So it means it has many different realities this iron and the importance of iron within insan. The activa activating that iron so that it's energized and, and the power that's coming to it, the tajalli that Allah want to come to it and that its cleanliness, its purity is allowing for that whole state and that's why that all of what Prophet was given, was given from the highest realities of this perfection. Means why to eat correctly according to Islamic guidelines, why to drink according to these religious guidelines, why not to drink, why not to smoke, why not to do what's forbidden was because of all the secrets that Prophet was bringing for the perfection of guidance. That how can the iron within your body be perfected, how can the evilness within the body be cut and its sustenance to be drained. All of those realities were then encapsulated in the teachings of Sayyidina Muhammad That's the amazing sort of reality of how advanced that reality is to be of a purified nature, of a magnetic character and how to attract the reality of the heavens. When now in the, in the Dajjal system everything they think is by head. 
which is the most interesting sort of concept. They don't operate by heart, they don't teach to empower the heart, they believe as if the heart doesn't exist and that mankind can achieve what they have to achieve by their head. That you merely think about something and you can begin to see it and uh, whatever they think they can open up veils which none of it is, is true, all of it is based on the heart. The only thing that they can open through the head and what they encourage with their practices is hallucination. That somebody who sits and meditates through the faculty of their head, the, the jinn world will begin to come to them so that they can hallucinate. And again the amazing gift that Sayyidina Muhammad gave to us of Holy Qur'an and the prophetic teachings and hadith was that a immense clarity. When they don't have the understanding of the jinn world everything they call is an alien of a foreign nature that they don't understand. And as a result of that imperfection because they compare everything to themselves and if it's far superior to themselves they give a title of a god, astaghfirullah. They give a divinity to that which is more powerful to themselves because of the lack of understanding. So when you're ignorant like a child that which you don't understand then they say, oh it must be a god. And they have labeled everything of these aliens as gods, that they are gods, they came and they planted our reality, they're coming back to claim us as something that <laughs> they have made. This will be the belief of the, the, these dajjal beings and this event that will begin to occur when these aliens they call begin to show themselves and come within the fitna that dajjal is going to bring upon this earth. And then how Islam comes to perfect the character that Prophet brought for us an entire science that these unseen are jinn, they are extremely powerful. Don't be astonished by their power because Allah is describing throughout the Qur'an that, how many times have you taken them as your Lord and Saviour? One that you worship them because of their power and that you thought they could save you from Allah from judgment and from judgment day. So it's given, it's, it's been throughout the history. So the immensity of what Prophet brought for guidance on how to perfect oneself so that to achieve the maximum reality. Now people can take the basics of Islam and live by that standard. But those whom are listening to us and being directed they are of a nature that's much higher than normal, means that the, the norm in life is not satisfying for them. That just to, to be quenched by some normal understanding the yearning within their being is not of that, is not satisfied until it reaches to the deeper reality and the deeper reality is not for everyone. So to everyone their flavour and the audience and the information that they want to seek. So some people say, oh these, these knowledges are, are you know complicated too much, people should just know the basics. But those whom are called to the basics they will be directed in that direction. Those who want from this fountain that Allah is allowing to be broadcasted then ahlan wa sahlan they can sit and to learn its reality. That what Prophet brought from us of Qur'an and holy hadith to dispel all of the fitnas of the last days. That when Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, iqtarab as saat wa shaqi wal qamar. That in this holy month of qamar, the holy surah begins that iqtarab as saat, that when you see the time and the splitting of the moon, means that when you see a time come, a great sign was the splitting of the moon. Well, one very obvious iqtarab as saa anybody who's been for hajj, we said before many times, you go and there's now a clock tower. 
which was never there. So that is literally Allah telling us because like a programmer that when you get to this part of the program in your life, wait for a sign of a time, a watch, a clock. And it's so profound that you go for hajj, you see the watch. And then Allah describes, اِبْتَالَ سَاوَ الشَّقِّ وَالْقَمَارِ And that Prophet one of the miracles of Sayyidina Muhammad was the splitting of the moon. Well, alhamdulillah just that understanding of the splitting of the moon takes away their thought that the moon is hollow and it's a ship. Right? So they're going to come and say that, no actually the, the moon is planted there like a ship and there are some creatures living inside like a ship, like they're driving it. Again trying to take everything away from the order of Allah and making it based on these creatures and these fitnas that are coming. And Allah gives to us little signs within the Qur'an to disprove each of the examples they're going to bring. So one is that Prophet split the moon. So there's nothing hollow in it, there's no ship in it otherwise it would have all collapsed. And then the spiritual realities of that is then the description of a reality of a nation that would become Sunni and Shia and that he brought that moon back in an instant and that they would be united again under the flags of Sayyidina Mahdi Alhamdulillah. And then Allah give for us about Sayyidina Adam alaihissalam wa alama isma kullaha. And that we have taught Sayyidina Adam salam all the names. That the reality in Islam of Sayyidina Adam salam that he has been taught all the names. Means the uloom and the knowledges of Sayyidina Adam salam and the progeny of Sayyidina Adam salam was of such a high reality that the angels bowed down, were ordered to show their respect for this knowledge and they were to bow down. All bow down except the shayateen, except the devil, shaitan and those whom would follow shaitan's way. Oh, so it means then Sayyidina Adam is salam was immensely knowledgeable. He did not arrive on earth as a monkey evolving stafirullah into a state of knowledge. Our belief system is that they were at the height of knowledge and we have devolved and gone down to our lowest point. And that lowest point is so that we can be conquered and overtaken. That now basically humans have become not thinking just memorizing, they have no thought process, their vibration is to be brought very low and they are just at a state in which to be possessed. So anything they teach of that we were nothing and we came to follow these creatures for their knowledge, it's not true. That's why Allah gives that holy verse as one of many realities, alama asma kullaha. That no, no, he was taught all knowledges. Sayyidina Adam salam was sent onto this earth with an immense knowledge. It was not in need of, of anyone coming and, and giving them knowledge. They were not crazy and not knowing anything and then somebody came with a spaceship and had to teach them. They had all the knowledges and the human knowledge and those whom taught by Ahlul Kitab, by the realities of the book are far more powerful than the jinn nations. And this Allah gave the example in Surah Sulaiman, in, Surah, in the Surah Nam about the story of Sayyidina Sulaiman That he asked for the throne to be brought to his presence, the freed said that, I can bring it but it takes time and the one whom been taught from the knowledge of holy books means Rijalullah and awliyaullah said, by the time you blink your eyes I will have duplicated it and put it in your presence. And he did and it was in his presence. 
So the knowledge that the people of submission and insan carry, if they submit to Allah and Allah opens from His uncreated words of Holy Qur'an upon their heart, imagine then the immensity of that power. So means all of these were preparation for last days when insan will be bombarded with all of these crazy beliefs of these people because they control the media, they control the, what the ears and eyes of people are hearing and seeing. So much so that the Muslims are emailing that, what is this flat and is the moon like this and were they, were we brought by, by aliens onto this earth? They said, no Allah's given all of this in Qur'an. What we were brought by aliens onto the earth? The ones whom arrived from heavens onto the earth were far more knowledgeable than these ifrit. And they were responsible for these structures and these buildings and the uloom and the knowledges that they were teaching. We have devolved into nothingness and to just the you know creatures that eat and drink but don't have any understanding of the heavens. And that Allah has given all of these realities and these blessings to insan. And that's why then the teachings of Haqiqatul Irshad and to rise to what Allah has given to us that if you bring your meditation, bring your juzbah, make yourself to be of a magnetic character purifying the iron, purifying the blood, imagine what type of power you attract from the heavens because they're attracted to those whom wish to purify themselves. Means anyone trying to ascend into the heavens with good character and purification, it naturally attracts heavenly beings because of the ascension and their happiness for a servant from earth wishing to rise. As a result if they open those realities then the heavens are waiting for the downpouring, the energy and all the blessings. As a result of the, of the servant seeking the reality of the heavens, the light and dressing they be dressed upon will attract the people of the earth. That's why you don't go trying to get people to follow you when you have nothing to give them. So that's why the teaching is in such that first connect to the heavens, connect to your reality. Connect to the energy so that your juzbah, your magnetic character is connected. That when you're clean and purified as soon as you're meditating you're attracting heavenly energies. Not material energies, not the, the, the magnetic frequencies of the earth but to direct yourself towards the heavens as a result of the connection to the heavens and that which is purified and pure and clean and leads itself to cleanliness. They have an expression that godliness is close to cleanliness. Everything that Prophet brought was of cleanliness. They smell good, they act good, they clean themselves inside, they clean themselves outside. Allah doesn't use dirtiness as a means towards heavenliness. They go to India and they, they dive into a water that filled with human waste and human dead bodies and they think that that brings them towards heavenliness. Everything from God is pure and beautiful and good and God is in that goodness, Allah is in that purity and that, and that purification. As a result of that connection with the heavens then earthly creation will be attracted to that individual. As a result of that attraction then becomes the emanations and the Divine downpourings upon that individual and all that are connected into his magnetic field. Because of the magnetism the flow that's coming is that juzbah and that Divinely emanation. Then we taught and, and described that they would learn how to connect and they would use the highest connection that which never perishes means they would connect through their face. And that again extreme levels of purity in which they clean, clean, clean and they begin to visualize and the shaykhs dress their face. So that their face because Allah described, I created creation in my image. That's a secret that Allah has no shaykh but yet we call the, the surahs of Qur'an faces. 
Sura means face. So means that Allah to dress the servant from a Divinely face so that the two ears are empowered, the two eyes are empowered, the two nostrils are empowered with Divinely grace and then the end power then becomes, we bless your tongue. And that that tongue that's blessed because the ears are blessed, the eyes are blessed, the, the nostrils and the breath and Divine breath is blessing them. As a result Allah grant to them their tongue to be blessed. As a result they begin to have the power to convey, they pray what needs to be prayed, they pray based on what Allah wants them to pray for, not what people want them to pray for. So people can ask them, can you pray for me and alhamdulillah that's good faith and, and humility. But Allah inspire within their hearts to make the prayer that's necessary for them to make. And as a result that is the conveyance of that prayer, the power that been dressed upon their face, the conveyance of their prayer and then the reality of their movement. That Allah give a heart and a power to their heart and their tongue for their recitations. So they recite in large numbers at a very immense speed. Especially in times of isolation and seclusions, in the times of Ramadan and, and times where they're very sort of heavenly days and nights that when they're meditating and they learn how to meditate they begin to make a zikr where their zikr of their heart is moving faster than their hand can keep up and they begin just to stop and make zikr through their heart. And that's from the realities of tai and haqiqat al-tai and the movement of their zikr. Haqiqat al-tai of the body we said is not for now because of the time of dajjal and the appearance of people in many places would cause a great, great fitna especially with the advent of cameras and, and different devices. But they can appear many places at the same time with a different shaykh, with a different image that Allah can create anew at any moment. So means that they can be appearing in many places but with a different form and that's not something impossible for Allah So these are, these are you know from malakut and heavenly realities that, that human mind can't comprehend. And the reality of irshad then Allah opened for the servant this character in which their ears are dressed from these realities, their eyes are dressed from that reality, their tongue and breath is dressed from that reality, that they have the power to connect to the Divinely face that's satelliting and reflecting from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad all the way through the presence of the companions, Ahlul Bayt and the awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. Means that the signal coming from that Divinely face is dressing and blessing and they have the power to convey through their heart the prayers that are necessary to be conveyed. And as a result Allah give upon their tongue a reality of their speech, their zikr, their prayers. And this is then the reality of Haqqat al-Irshad in which Allah want to dress them to be Mahdi'een. Rashideen and Mahdeen wa Qamileen that they have now a Muhammadan dress and the Mahdeen is that they have the, the purified Muhammadan tajalli upon the reality, sifat al Rashid that Allah grants for them a Rashid to be of guidance and then Allah make them to become Qamileen in which their characteristic and the attributes in which He perfects their reality to dress them and bless them and these become the Muhammadan guides upon this nation. InshaAllah dress us from the immensity of these lights and these blessings and the blessed light of Sayyidina Fatima Zari salam, Al-Batu the purified lights of Holy Qur'an, the secret of creation, the secret of the womb, Al-Khaliq that Allah has given the secret of Al-Khaliq, Al-Khaliq al al that coming into creation, every creation that coming into existence has a secret and that secret that Prophet received and dressed upon Sayyidatina Fatima Zahra 
that every creation coming into existence is from that secret that she is the custodian of that reality. And the immensity of the purity and the purity of the womb, purity of that reality that needs no cleansing and then no, no nothing, the immensity of its purity can't be understood. We pray that Allah dress us from these lights and bless us from these lights and that to be dressed under their holy nazar inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisiri Surat al-Fatiha.